trying to find some of the victims who may have been in that school. We're led to believe that as many as 24 children may still be in that debris. It's no longer a search and rescue effort, but a search and recovery effort. Let's, uh, let's go to Paula Price, who's joining us on the phone right now from Norman Regional. And Paula, I know that you have a situation here, not only taking care of folks who may be coming and injured, but you've got a little one there and you're trying to contact parents. We do. We have a nine-year-old girl at our health and hospital. Her name is Kaylee Hawkins, and she was at one of the elementary schools that was damaged. She's doing okay, but her parents are not with her, so we are asking if anyone knows her parents, Kaylee Hawkins, to call 307 2713. And then she was from Moore. She was in one of the schools at Moore, correct? That's correct, okay. yes. And Paula, do you know how she was transported to your facility? Did someone find her outside of the school, or was she pulled from the school? Do you have any of that information? I'm not totally certain, but I believe she was uh, came through our emergency room, so I'm not quite sure if that was an ambulance or was brought by a private vehicle. Okay. I don't have that information. At approximate age, did you say her age? Nine, nine, years, year old. Old. nine years old. Yeah. Nine years old. And her name is Kaylee Hawkins. Okay. That's correct, Kaylee Hawkins. So if any of her... Uh, relatives are listening right now. Kaylee is at Norman Regional, and Norman Regional is on Main Street. Well, Norman, actually, right? I'm sorry. It's at the HealthPlex okay. Hospital, which is right off of I-35 and Tecumseh Road. I-35 and Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, very good. And they can call the number that you gave us or simply show up and... That's true. Either right. way, show up or call the number that we've provided. Or you can call us here at the station at Channel yes. 4, and we'll get you guys together. All right, a uh, little one... Uh, as you can imagine, very upset right now and wanting mom and dad to be there, and we'll endeavor to make that happen. Nine-year-old Kaylee Hawkins at Norman Regional, looking for her parents or loved ones. Thank you, Paula. Uh, Mike Morgan. Kevin, uh, we have a little weather here in the metro we want to talk about. Uh, this storm has gone up pretty quickly. It is severe. A uh, quarter-sized hail over in uh, Nichols Hills. And a warning because of this tornado. We want to go right now to meteorologist Mike Bettis, who is once again live on the scene after a massive tornado tore through just moments after. Uh, as we got there as soon as he could. He's along with our severe weather expert, also Dr. Greg Forbes. Chris, thank you very much. You know, it's one of those scenes again. This is the very this is the part of the job we hate, Dr. Forbes. Uh, um, okay. And I want to, I wanna, if I can, give you perspective on what um, this looks like. If you look to the east, this looks, um, it is, there's not a house standing. And as far as this camera will shoot, there is not a house that is standing. And it just shows you how powerful this tornado was. It shows you how wide this tornado was, how long it stayed on the that? ground. We're with our uh, our tornado expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, and it's you know we we can we can your senses are heightened in situations like this, Dr. Forbes. We smell gasoline, yes. we smell natural gas. There are a lot of things that happen in the aftermath of a tornado. Yeah, this is beyond belief, and, beyond, and certainly way beyond anything that I've ever seen on the ground. Uh, the destruction, just piles of debris that were formerly homes. Just cars that have been flipped, mangled as if they were in total car accidents. Uh, it is a scene of utter destruction here. Uh, just incomprehensible for several blocks wide and several miles long down uh, off toward the east. It is uh, a scene that uh, words can hardly describe. You know, I think, um, you know, when you see something like this, as Carl was talking about, and not to get, you know, too, too philosophical, but you, you start to then 